have with me here, head Montini coach, Israel Martinez. Thank you for uh, allowing me to put this headset on and uh, talk to you guys a little bit. All right. Well, uh, coming off the Ironman last week, uh, you know, without obviously guy who probably would have been in the finals, Michael Johnson. Guys still did pretty well. Yeah, you know, we uh, we got a couple holes. Uh, you know, some football guys are out. Some football guys are doing some convincing with. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, um, it is what it is. We have, a, we have a talented group of boys whose life revolves around wrestling. And then we have a talented group of boys whose life revolves around football. So we're trying to get those guys to continue to, to love each other and love each other's, you know, teams. And, and that's where we are right now. We got, a, we got a solid group of kids. We got a solid freshman class. Um, we're just building. We have an unbelievable senior class full of leaders leaders with Vince Turk and Luke Fortuna and Xavier Montabo and, and and those guys are all you know straight A guys I mean you know A's and B's and, and your freshman uh, Real Woods yeah, Real's doing well. You know, one thing people don't know about Real Woods is Real Woods got straight A's. Real Woods is not playing around. There's no, uh, there's no ifs ands or buts about it. He has to get straight A's, and that's the that's the goal, and that's the the, the, the focus for Real Woods right now. I'm happy that he won a tournament. He beat a tough Louis Hayes in the finals. I see him wrestle all the time. I, I wasn't sure if he could beat a guy like Louis Hayes, but you know he did. I think that uh, a guy like Louis is good. I seen Louis pound him in the room before multiple times, so it was a little weird. It was a little tough to watch. You know, Louis not not get his offense off but you know hats off to real woods you know he, he's a gamer and he, he ain't here to play around he, he, he eventually he's lost to madrigal yeah you know he can't play madrigal's game you know madrigal's talented he's unreal i mean you know i used to coach him when he was a baby and then he went to my dad's club for a while and then you know he's been in the system for years you know he's he wrestled for my dad for three years you know and then he wrestled for us for a couple years then he went to oak park and he's been with great programs and then now he's at oak park killing it you know so you know those oak park guys you just can't let them run their style and run their game plan because if you do they'll beat you up I'd like to talk about Vince Turk last weekend Ironman third place thought he had a fantastic tournament uh, his only loss was I believe to Klodzik from uh, Blair Academy uh, talk about Turk Turk's doing well, you know, we just got to get him the mindset of, you know, uh, go, 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 go. We're prepping him right now for the Iowa wrestling room. That's the goal. You know, he already won a state title. He uh, already got a Fargo National Championships uh, when he was a freshman. He won a Greco there. So, you know, the biggest battle right now is to focus on college, focus on building and, and being ready for that Iowa wrestling room. If you, you can be as good as you want. Mm -hmm. If you can't get out of that wrestling room, you ain't, gonna, you ain't doing anything. And that's the goal right now is make sure that Vince Turk can get into that room and fight and fight and battle battle and he's proven that he can do it he's not scared he'll go up to 52 if we ask him this kid's got no fear and that's the idea and that's why he's going to Iowa he loves the Brands but, brothers and he's ready to fight and his style of wrestling because he's very you know he's very aggressive on his feet really suits the Iowa wrestling yeah you know he's uh, I'm excited you know he gets to go join Oak Park uh, uh, Sammy Brooks he's probably you know right up there to win a national title himself you know so it's exciting you know Vince is a great kid and, and the sky the limits for him he just has to get tougher like every other kid in this high school gym right now you know they got to get tougher if they want to excel division one they got to be able to shoot to both legs and Vince is developing that and he's doing well I'm, I'm very happy for him absolutely uh, hopefully we're gonna see Michael Johnson back in the lineup soon yeah we you know our boys love him you know he's got a bad foot you know what I mean so and a guy like that you know he's in the hinge of you know either going division one wrestling division one football so you know he's he's got a lot on his plate right now you know and right now we're we're just letting him get some time, heal up, focus, and uh, just giving Mike Johnson some time. The kid's been through a lot. He's traveled a lot. He's uh, wrestled a lot, you know. So, um, you know, I... I the football uh, team did pretty well this year. Second in the state tournament. <laughs> you know, they've been in the state finals, what, four or six yeah. times in a row or something. You know, so we're just we're just uh, happy that Mike's a part of our team, and hopefully he gets healthy, and hopefully he comes out and wins the state tournament, you know, because that's the goal with him is to get him that one title that he doesn't have yet, and that's the high school state tournament. So hopefully he can get healthy and come out win that high school state tournament that's going to be the key he's got an iron man championship under his belt already runner up last year so he's right there yeah you know mike johnson's been right there since he's been about 12 years old you know the guy's been on top of his game for a long time so you know like i said he gotta get he gotta get in the room and get healthy and then and then the sky's the limits for him
our runner up. All right, Carl well, thank you very much, Coach. No, no worries. I'm excited. Good luck. Xavier Montavo's getting ready to scrap it up here. That's right. And we're going to be um, we're going to be bringing him up right. 182 pounds. 182 pounds. He's ex I'm excited for him. We bumped all our boys up this weekend. Yeah, I you noticed know, that. All the yeah. We bumped them all up. You know, Montini. You know, whether people realize it or not, our boys don't cut much weight. I don't agree <laughs> with it. And um, part of the reason why our boys don't cut uh, cut much weight is you look at our grades and you look at the grades on all our boys. You know, we don't have one athlete that's going to be an academically ineligible. You know, several other teams do and, and things like that, you know, and a part of that is because of the weight cut and the weight cut's a huge problem in high school wrestling, you know, so I showed the guys, hey, you go up, look how good you can do. And this is probably the toughest tournament in Illinois. And, it's up there, uh, right, between and this and the Dvorak, well, absolutely. We chose, we chose to come to one, and we chose to come here, and, and it is what it is. It's not an insult any which way, but, you know, we want to come here. We want to bump our guys up. We want to prove to people that it's not about cutting weight. It's about getting better, being tougher, having good grades, and just, you know, trying to be the guy that put keep Illinois wrestling on the map, and we got to go after Ohio, Pennsylvania. we got to go after those guys. You know, <laughs> we got to stop that. fighting with each other. we got to stop fighting with the scale. we got to go after those guys. So good to see you guys. And good luck in the match here that's uh, underway. Thank you.